What's going on everybody? It's Matt from Tabletop Mischief. Today we're going to take a look and play through Mind Burners, a cyber occult dungeon runner. So in Mind Burners, it's a pretty cool game by Nathan Muirner. You're going to be trying to traverse a void run. You're going to be separating the roll event cards, the actual void. You're going to take uh, a victory points tracker. Let's see what we've got. I'm gonna put that up here. And an HP tracker. You're gonna put this right under that line because we're playing solo and we're not gonna, you don't use an overcharge in solo. The rest of these cards, should be six of them, you're going to use as your timer. So we're gonna put those off to the side and every time we do a void run, we're gonna get rid of one of those. And when we hit the bottom of that deck, game over. The point of the game is to try to get 10 victory points before the end of, before the end of the six card. So these are ability cards. We're gonna go through these. Ability, ability. I think that's all that's left. Okay, so we have our void deck, our abilities deck, and our roll event deck. Now we're going to take a meeple. I'm choosing orange because orange is my favorite color and not a lot of games have them. And we're also going to take one of each color cubes and these will be put on the corresponding color. So in a solo game, we have to take some of these cards out. So we're going to go through the abilities deck and we're gonna look for anything that's, that states another player. So steal a card from a, uh, a random, steal a card at random from another player. So there's no other player, player. So apparently, that was from the last game. I had these set aside. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we're getting rid of telepathic uh, pull, paralytic gaze, enhanced pain, data drain, life shot, siphon luck, death harvester. That's badass. Cursed victory, burning hands, spectral shove and mind hack, just for, so you know what cards are getting taken out of there. Now we're going to take this ability deck that we have left and we're going to give it a good shuffle. And once we do, we're going to remove five at random. One, two, three, four, five. And we're gonna take those out. Those are not in the game. Now, now it's time for the roll deck. So we're going to the roll events deck. We're going to shuffle. My cats are going crazy in the background, huh? <laughs> now we're going to remove five of these. One, two, three, four, five. And that's the setup. All right, so let's we have no victory points, so we're gonna put that over here. We start the game with five energy, and we start every void run with five health. So we have our die for our roll events. All right, I think we're ready to roll. In Mind Burners, we're going to be flipping cards from the void. Oh, you can't even see the void, so let's do this. Yeah. I think that'll do. If, if not, I will adjust as gameplay goes. So we're going to put our meeple in the beginning of the, the void. We're going to flip. In a, in a two-player game, you would flip. You would take the card off the, the top, and you would have to decide if you're going. The players would have to decide if they're going to continue to, the, to play into the void. So they would put that meeple here and to symbolize that they go, they want to see more of the void, then they would flip. Because at any time, 
throughout the void, if you're getting beat up too much, you can leave the void. You just you won't gain all the all the bonuses for surviving the void. 99.9% .9 of the time you're going to be dipping out before before you reach the end because it's extremely difficult unless you have the precise right uh, ability cards to play to, to go through the whole void. I have yet to do it. So we're going to deal three ability cards at the beginning. Let's take a look to see what we have. Blood program, gain four HP. That's pretty gnarly. And that's, if you see this P right here, that you do that during the preparation phase. Um, anything without a P, ha it can't be, it can only be played in the void. Ignore the effects of one roll event or void event of your choice. And void site, look at the next void card before deciding whether to stay or continue the run. Those are pretty cool cards. So this card uh, can just be played, doesn't cost any energy to play. This card costs three energy to play, and this card costs one energy to play. So that is that. Let's see. Okay, let's talk a little bit more about leaving and dying in the void. So at any time, you can choose to exit the void. If you do that, and you're still alive, you will gain <clears throat> one stored energy per card cleared. So if, if we had this many and you were up here, you would gain three stored energy on your tracker up here. You would also get a chance to keep one of your unplayed ability cards um, to, to roll over to the next uh, void room. If you die during, during a void run, your body rematerializes outside of the void and you gain no benefits. You don't gain any stored energy and you have to discard all unplayed cards until the next void run. So you don't actually, you're not out of the game. You just, you don't really gain anything. So. What do you say we start? So, preparation phase. We prepped everything already, no victory points. I can, I can spend three energy to do this, but I'm not gonna do that yet. I don't, I don't need to, I'm at, I'm at full. So let's play properly, move your, now, I do want to go, so I'm going to ooh, change matrix, draw an event, draw an event card. All players must roll and resolve this event. So we take this. All right, we got the withering, withering obelisk. So we're going to roll this D6, one through five, nothing. Two, one or five, nothing. Two or four, discard one ability card. Oh my goodness. Three or six, discard two ability cards. Oh, let's get a one or a five, huh, folks? Yep, that's, mm, yeah, that's about right. I gotta get rid of two ability cards. Holy crap. That's, mm. That's not good. Um, I guess I'm getting rid of these. So now, now it's only, oh man, ignore the effects. Okay, well, I guess it could be worse. <laughs> so let's continue on, huh? I'm just gonna flip these, like we're in a solo game. Oh my goodness. We're in a solo game, so if I wanna leave, I'm just gonna, there's no, so all players take two damage. Okay, well that's that's the ballistic corpse. All right, I want to continue. Oh, oh no, oh no. 
<laughs> man. All right, so that's three. One, two, three. So, I died. <laughs> uh, so, I'm going to discard this, and I gained no stored energy. And we are not doing great, folks. That's not a great start to this game. So, we're going to... We're gonna get rid of one of these clocks to symbolize our first run, our first failed run through the void. Shuffle these puppies up. Let's shuffle these puppies up and let's start another void run. Boop. All right, I can't believe we died. It's just the luck of the void, people. All right, three. Three. So this in our preparation phase, we're prepping. So we start, we um, go back up to full health. Put this up here so you can see. Let's see what we got for abilities. Cybernetic implant, gain three additional HP for this run. You may pay three energy to draw another card. Oh. That's cool. That costs nothing. That's in the preparation phase. Blood program, gain four. Good. Okay, void sight. We got we got two of the same cards, but this one's pretty cool, right? Uh, I think I'm going to burn that. So I'm going to gain three additional HP. One, two, three. So we're at eight health now. Let's get rid of this. I'm going to I'm going to spend it. One, two, three. Now we're at two energy. So I'm going to spend that to to get this. Infernal armor, take one less damage from this creature encounter. You may pay one energy to prevent one more damage. So that's pretty neat. All right, let's roll. Let's jump into the void. Uh huh. Yep. yep. Right off the bat, ballistic corpse. So we're going to take two. One, two. I'll move this guy. Okay. Um, going to. Ah, Void Beacon. All players immediately gain one victory point. Well, folks, we got our first victory point. Thank you, Void Beacon. So if you remember, um, the point of this solo game is to gain 10 victory points before the end. So that is helpful. I, I might add that if you go through all 10 cards in the, in the Void, which I've never done, you get the stored energy, plus you get two victory points. So that's pretty awesome. Let me take a sip of coffee. Okay, let's continue. Let's see what we got. We got some pretty good health, so. And we're gonna need it because the ominous orb has attacked us and we gotta take three damage. Got a decision to make, folks. I don't have enough energy to play this. You know what? I'm gonna spend. I'm gonna uh, play Void Sight for one energy. Oh man! And we're gonna take a look at the next card. Yeah, I'm gonna play that. We'll take that. Um, we'll take that. And I think we're going to dip. I think we're going to get out of this because I have, I'm low on energy. Got four cards in. There's two of each type of, so there's two one hits, there's two three damage, and there's two two damage, I believe, in the deck. So chances are pretty good. I'm going to get smacked with a two or three and I don't have that. I don't want to die. We need some stored energy. So let's get out of here. And we're going to get one, two, three, four stored energy. So that brings us back up to five. And we get to choose one of these cards to keep. And I'm going to keep this, the blood program, to roll over. Let me make sure I'm playing that right. Let me... If you have any ability cards left in your hand, you may choose to keep one to carry over to the next run, which we did. 
Additionally, you also gain an extra stored, stored energy equal to the ability cost of all cards you choose to discard. So we get an additional stored energy, people, because I got rid of, I got rid of Infernal Armor and the uh, cost is one stored energy. So that's, huh, that's awesome. I didn't know that. I was playing that wrong for a minute. Okay, well, I kind of wish I got rid of Blood Program and hope that I got it again. So, going to get rid of second clock. Come on, we need a good run. We have one victory point, peeps. So I take two more. Let's see what we got. Okay, apparently I'm just going to keep on getting the same cards. I think I'm, gonna, I'm only going to shuffle when there's no cards, because this is crazy. All right. Okay, so, took care of that, that, do I want to, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to play this. Uh, that costs three. And I'm going to gain four. Brings us to nine. We need to get further in this, so let's see what we got. Void Beacon, yes, another victory point. All right, so boop. All right, roll event. Let's see what we got. Death Traps. So one, two, or three, you take two damage. Four, five, or six, you avoid all damage. Come on. Yeah, that's about right. God. Two damage. All right. Keep on going. Mm-hmm. Liquid Mother. All players take two damage. Mm. Boop. We're going to keep on going. Vile Dangler. Oh, my God. The name of that makes me uncomfortable. So we got to take one damage. We're going to come downtown here. Two damage. Oh. I'm going to gonna play Void Sight. Take one. Let's take a look to see what we're running into. Haha, <laughs> good thing I did. Guess what? We're leaving. <laughs> so, we leave. One, two, three. Four, five. So we gain five. One, two, three, four, five. And we're going to discard this for an extra. All right. I don't know if we're going to win this, folks. Get rid of one of these. Back up to five. Let's get three ability cards. Phase shift, ignore all effects on one roll event. Gain three additional HP for a cybernetic implant. Gain three additional HP for this run. You may pay three energy to draw another card. And thought shield, we haven't seen this one yet. When you're about to take damage, prevent that damage. Well, that is handy. All right, let's go. Yeah, that's how we're going to start. Wow. I'm going to play this for two energy. One, two. Um, let's prevent that damage. Because there's no way I can, I want to leave yet. I'm also going to play this. It costs nothing. I'm going to gain three additional HP. Let's go. 
Oh my god. All right. All right, let's do this. Come on. Hey, hey, Void Beacon, baby. Let's get another one. We're at three. The odds are not in our favor to be winning this. Take one. I hate the name of that card. Hey, another Void Beacon. We're at four victory points. I'm just going to flip these cards. I'm just going to flip the cards because I'm one player. Um, I'm going to keep him in front of me because I love the color orange. It's it just cumbersome. It's not needed with a one player game. Okay. Change my tricks. So, so we have to flip a roll event. So, Prime Terminal, one or a six, gain one victory point. Two, three, four, five. You, nothing happens. One or a six, come on, we can do this. I am having no luck with the rolls. I rolled a three, so nothing happens. Um, we're not too shabby on the, uh, the health. Let's see. Oh, I had to say that, right? All right, we're at one health. So I got one. Oh. Okay, I don't know when that cut out, but get rid of this. We have two more runs, and we have. Oh. I don't think we're going to be winning this game. Three. Let's see what we got. Doom Collector. If you die in this run, you may store the energy you would have lost. Uh, circuit upgrade. Discard this and draw. Mm, two more cards. That's good. That costs nothing. We can do that. So I'm gonna do that. Um, that I could do that during the prep, the prep phase because of the P. So let's do that. Two cards. One. Two, let's see what we got. Okay. All right. So now we got four cards. And we have enough energy to be um, spending. So, yeah. Okay. I feel good about this run. I feel good about it. Okay. Back up to five. Back up to five. Mm-hmm. Okay. There we go. You know what? One, two, three. So, um, we're gonna spend two energy. Play that one, two. I don't think that's a bad idea. That went. Let's see. I mean, I mean, really? This is just brutal. Spend one energy. I'm going to play Infernal Armor. I'm going to take one less and I'm going to spend one more energy. So that's one, two to take. So I'm only taking one hit there. Nope. I did nothing. Oh, okay. Let's go. All right. All right. Five. We're up to five. Yes. All right. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Oh, yes. We're at six. Oh. Okay. Ow. Okay. Take one damage. Oh, got excited there. All right, roll event. Come on, we gotta do something good on this roll event. Portal collapse. Uh, one, three, or a six. You stay in the void another turn. Oh, this is one way you can get booted. 
uh, two, four, five, you are ejected from the void immediately. So we want to, <sighs> all right, let's just see, like I'm not even. Okay, so we have to stay in the void. Okay, I was gonna stay anyway, so huh. Joke's on you. All right, we're at one health. <laughs> so we got this one. And and guess what? We still, so we have both ones, both twos, and, and we're down to the wire again. <laughs> and we got to leave. Because the second three is in there. You know what? Let's spend an energy. Um, <laughs> I'm going to spend an energy to see the next card. And we're going to play it. This is the furthest I've gotten in it. So let's. It's a void. I mean, uh, chance matrix. This is what was flipped. I can't get on camera. There we go. Let's roll. All right. Ooh, let's get a five or a six. We can get two. Yeah, no, nope. I don't gain anything. So, you know what that means, folks? This is this is the three damage, and I I can't afford to take that to clear the entire void, which would have been awesome. So we're gonna have to leave. We gain. Nine, we gain nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, we're full energy, peeps. We're going to get rid of one of these, and we have one card left. This is the last run, and we have to get, <laughs> we have to get four victory points. I don't, pretty sure that's, it's impossible, boom, yeah. Um, it's impossible because there's two void beacons in here. Yeah, it's impossible, but we're going to run it. We're going to do it. All right. Uh, back up to full, back up to five. One, two, three. Gonna pay the three to gain four more HP. One, two, three, four. And you know what? I'm gonna, I'm just gonna spend two more since it's the last one. And I'm gonna do this preparation conversion. The transfer rate is two energy for one health, and we're up to full health. Like we have 10 health. I wanna, I wanna give us the best. Oh, I guess I could have just did this I'm gonna do that I'm gonna give me two two more and I'm gonna do this put us at full health so we have an ignore okay we're in, we're in decent decent shape here so let's go all right let's see what this is oh oh give me a one or a five gotta be crapping me two damage all right let's see what else jeez three damage one damage and just like that <laughs> we're below half okay let's let's see what we got on this Okay, so nothing good can come from this. Let's get a one. Yeah. Lose three. Three energy. Let's shuffle this back. All right. I'm just gonna, yeah. I could have played this to ignore that, but. All right.
Hey. At seven victory points. I have one health. I guess it's all or nothing. We're just gonna. Crap. This is. This could be it. We died. And that's the last run. So, we can't win them all. We didn't win. Let me clean this game up and I will give you my thoughts on Mind Burners. Okay, folks, I want to take, uh, take a minute. Let's talk about the game we just lost. <laughs> So, Mind Burners, I, I got it from the Game Crafter. The dude who, who did Mind Burners also did Doom Machine, which I'm very interested in. Everybody's raving about it, but I saw this and I was like, I didn't see much content about it online. So, I decided to pick this up before I picked up Doom Machine. I will be getting Doom Machine um, because I love, the, I love the art of this. And I think it's a pretty fun game. If, the solo mode, I'm an, I want to play this uh, multiplayer. The solo mode feels a little empty to me. I, I enjoy it, don't get me wrong. It just feels a little empty to me. It feels like a little mechanic. The, the theme doesn't, maybe with multiplayer, you could play those ability cards against the other opponent. That, that I feel multiplayer, this is where it's gonna shine. And I did watch a, a playthrough by the designer and he does say, it plays better at two. I wanted to give this game a shot because there's not much online about it. Yeah, I, I recommend it. I, I don't not like it. It's just not my favorite. I think I'm gonna like Doom Machine a lot. I've watched so many gameplays of that and, uh, but I'm happy to have this in my collection. The Game Crafter, again, killed the production. Um, one of my only gripes with the Game Crafter in this production is this box is a little flimsy, but I mean, it's a print-on-demand game service, so the printing is flawless. I don't know. I'm, I'm happy with it. I'm, I, I do enjoy playing it. I just wish there was a little bit more, and I think the multiplayer is going to give me what I what that the feeling I'm looking for, where you can battle, and those ability cards actually have more to do with the game and maybe bring out the theme a little bit more. This Mind Burners by Nathan Muirner. And you can get this at the Game Crafter. So if you like it, head over there, pick it up. Relatively inexpensive. So yeah, I recommend it. Um, thank you for watching. I hope you got something from this video. And until next time, stay awesome.